Hey there, everybody. My name is Perry. Welcome back to Perry's Root Channel. I'm your root expert, aficionado, and root consultant. Okay, so that part... If you've part... been injured in a work accident or killed, demand Perry of Perry's Root Channel. I'm here today with Cole. So this part, Cole of Cole's Root Channel, is going to cut out of the video. And you, <laughs> the audience, are never going to hear this. And if you do hear this... It's because I forgot to cut it out totally. <laughs> and also here is, oh, it's my turn to draft. Perry, continue doing your introduction. With Cole. No, I, hello everyone. <laughs> With also Jamie. Uh, excuse me, give me my proper name. With Lick the Jagor. Thank you. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. And Robbie. Whoa. I love Al. I love Al. <laughs> That's going to be your signature call. Whoa. Holy shit. We can beat up the Vagabond. Yeah. Frick the veg. It does feel way worse beating up the adventurer though because it's just yeah. a nice little owl. He doesn't even have a sword to defend himself. He's just going to peacefully do some quests. <laughs> you guys should beat up each other. Despot and smack you in the face. Woodland Alliance. What kind of game is this anyway? Wait, what was the last faction in there? The Otters. Riverfolk? Wow. Yeah, the folk. You chose the Alliance? Like I said, I'm looking for variety. Okay. When was the last time you even played the Otters? Uh, I played them on digital. When? Recently. With who? Not me. With, with you. I don't remember this. All right. Well, anyway, um, let's say hypothetically, I had a bird card. Uh huh. Those are good for the alliance, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. Yes, of course. Yes, you want to. Yeah, they make your first revolt so much more flexible. Okay. That wasn't a serious question, right? Because no. you're your self-proclaimed root expert. Uh, of course I'm root expert and consultant. Oh, consultant. I forgot about the consultant part. Yeah, I'm going to have to make sure to consult you. You know that one time my mom got business cards made? Oh, we got to change and... our names. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one time my mom got business cards made... And they were supposed to say sales and design consultant, and they said sales and design consultant. Consultant? Yeah, hundreds of them. That's real good. Yeah. Consultant. Oh, I like that. Is yeah. this... I think this might be the... F oh, I think this is the second game I've ever played as the adventurer. Love Owls. Yeah, it's your favorite Vag. That can only be the second one. Yeah, I, well, I don't play in games where I can select which Vagabond I play as. Um, so, the time you get a specific Vagabond is low. Lower than any other faction. One specific <laughs> Vagabond. Yeah, so, anyone who's, you know, looking to complete your Cole's Root Channel bingo, or you're just looking for some Cole's Root Channel lore, there you go. I love owls. They're probably my favorite animal. Owls and then elephants. So can I see my supporters? Can you what, your supporters? See them? No, you I can see what suits they are. Screen. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Oh, you meant can you see the suits? Yeah. Yeah, they're in the bottom left. Also, you changed your name to not... It still says Perry. Uh, yes. That is because I'm waiting for my computer to start so that I may do oh, it on there. Oh, you're double, double monitoring it. Yeah. It is funny that the last game we played, Robbie started with moles in his name and when he wasn't the moles. And then this time he started without moles in his name and he was the moles. I think you're ridiculous. 
I think you're just the moles guy now. You're the resident mole guy. Maybe. Perry is no root expert, says Jamie. <laughs> In the chat. Alright, so I'm going to mute for a second and just talk about oh. my opening strategy here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be you know? immediately crafting that root tea. And then my other yeah. two cards are also great. Got Master Why? Engravers, and I'll eventually oh. have two hammers. Here comes the timer already. And then the coins to complement that for four points. So, opening hand looking really good. Just have to hope I don't get policed too hard by moles or eerie. The problem is, I don't know if I can win a points race against them, so I guess we'll find out. And I should look at my starting quests as well. Your turn, Chatot. That's me. All right, let's go here. Let us. And the Vag doesn't trigger outrage by moving in, but does by attacking, is yeah, that right? Yeah, because they're not a warrior, so. Okay. They don't Ooh, trigger outrage. I don't like the adventurer's outfit. You don't? It, what? It looks like he just has a huge nose. I don't know the adventurer's a weapon. Um. That's mean of you all to say. The adventurer has tea. He's just so much less cute with this art. Like, I, like, I don't know. No, he's adorable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's adorable. Okay, let's do this. Uh, he's choosing an item to damage for Improvise. Now he's choosing an item to exhaust for Improvise. Yeah, so the Adventurer's ability is really cool. Once per turn, I can damage an item and still exhaust that item in order to treat it as a different item for a quest. So I treated my boot as a torch in order to complete my mouse quest, which I I don't know which one that was. I'll have to check. Maybe give a speech. Time to kill the veg. No, no, no. Ah, that is the guard duty quest. Cool stuff. What's wrong with his outfit? <laughs> uh oh here comes Ms. Pac-Man what? well Jamie has just added a battle card to her decree as the despot and what that implies is that every turn she's going to be scoring two points from gobbling up an undefended sympathy token much like Pac-Man would but because Jamie is a girl I instead said Ms. Pac-Man but Ms. Pac-Man would do that, too. Exactly, yes. So why did you leave by saying... Well, most like, people would default to Pac-Man because he's the iconic video game character, and Ms. Pac-Man is based on Pac-Man. Honestly, I don't know, you guys. When I was a kid, I feel like I saw Ms. Pac-Man arcade machines literally everywhere, and I don't know if I ever saw a legitimate Pac-Man machine. I didn't know Ms. Pac-Man was a thing until I was a teenager, I think. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember... Oh man, what was that buffet called? That buffet? Old country? No, 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 the one... Mandarin Buffet. Mandarin Buffet had the best ice cream and mac and cheese, and it was even better when you mixed them together. But they also had a Miss pac oh, machine. Oh, what is wrong with you? Hey, you just confessed to a crime. What the heck? Anyway, please continue. Everyone sound off in the comments about how horrible that was. <laughs> Let them know. Dude, I'm telling you. It's... Don't knock until you try it, okay? Okay. Hot and cold. Sweet and savory. Yeah. And dairy, Sounds I guess. delicious. Dairy is fruit. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm knocking it. But you haven't tried it. That's true, I haven't tried it at all, and I never intend to. 
All right, hold on. Let me look at my HDMI cord, because this is getting kind of crazy. You're... Oh, you're still Perry. I am still Perry. Better find that HDMI cord, yeah. The people need to no know which faction you're playing. How will they know? I'll just keep saying it intermittently until I change my name. Okay. I am Perry, the Woodland Alliance. Oh, you know what I'll say? Every time I say something, I'll end it by saying, For the Alliance! Oh, that's good. I like that. Soup kitchens. One thing I really don't like about this matchup, I'm muted again, is... Soup kitchens. There's Tell no one good more. to aid. No one good to aid. Soup kitchens is now banned. What? Each faction is going to benefit... A lot. It was just a loose HDMI. Receiving a card. So I guess I'll aid Wooden Alliance once for Aren't that. Aren't I a fool? For that boot. Yeah, I guess you are. I guess you are a fool. What a shame. Man, it's so weird when I want to, like, mute and talk to, to the audience. Because I try to, like, not talk over anyone and so it's like it's like i talk for a second and then i hear someone else talk and i like oh, stop talking and then i wait a half a second to see if the coast is clear and then i start <laughs> talking again but then someone else starts talking and i go oh, and i stop you've got to just dive into it the moment you get the chance because we're gonna try and fill the silence because we don't yeah. realize you're blabbering off in secret no i get it i get it it's just like i don't think like i'm not like youtuber brained enough to like every time there's silence like mute and start talking about the game you should just um before you mute just go silence no that would be so awkward must be plotting then like I, I didn't i didn't even want i don't even want you guys to know when i'm doing that but that brings up the problem of crosstalk once yeah. you uh once you finish you can you can say Resume. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's you guys would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, it's been my turn? Yeah. Oh, oh no. It's okay, you're playing the Woodland Alliance. You can do it in like five seconds. Um. No, the purpose of this is first and foremost to play Root with my friends. And then it might also get uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how it is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <gasps> Man, I really wish I could figure out how to get this freaking fan on my laptop to stop chugging. Because you can hear it in like every recording. But whenever, really? I have, whenever I have Root and OBS going, it's just there's nothing doing. It'll always do it. This laptop is... Not built for this. Waiting for opponent to pass the turn. Turn past. Turn past. To Vagabond. Ah, okay. Guess we'll go into here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I can't aid you in here. Why? How silly of me. <laughs> I don't have a card that matches. No. Uh, hmm. What does this megaphone next to the despot mean? Megaphone next to the despot? You got to see my hand, I think. It's whenever yeah, outrage is. Yeah, that's outrage. Interesting. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, I'm gonna mute real quick. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. Okay, so I wanna craft the tea this turn and I want to also explore the ruins, but I don't think I can do both because I don't have a rabbit card to aid to get the boot. I can't use the hammer to repair the boot um, to get back to a mouse clearing in which to craft the tea because I would need it to craft the tea. So unless I pull a boot from the ruin, that plan doesn't work. 
I think I'm just going to hold off on crafting the tea because who wants to give the adventurer another tea? I'll just craft it myself, you know. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do then is go and let's see, what do I have questing wise here? Hmm. Alright, I think the first thing I'll do is just explore this ruin and see what we get. A bag, okay. Then, I think I'll go ahead and clear this path. I'm back! Don't worry. Welcome back. Don't worry. You guys know how you can walk around in the dark in your own house? Okay. Uh-huh. I've been collecting furniture from the side of the road recently. Because I'm going to move soon. <laughs> and on my trip to get some water, I walked into not one, but two different pieces of furniture that are in the middle of my hallway. That's just how I live my life. It doesn't matter if I know the place. I will find a way to trip. <laughs> so, so if I want to do this plan, I would need to exhaust my bag in order to I aid. I didn't realize how much I knocked into stuff then until I got the tattoo on my ankle. And, and it had to heal. And I kept scraping my ankle against my bed every time I walked past it. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't be doing this. I don't want to, like, get it infected. So bad. Okay, so then I do this. Then I do... This. And I just realized I think my plan doesn't work because I still need <laughs> to exhaust the second item, which means next turn I wouldn't be able to use all of them. If I, I'd have to exhaust the T in order to complete this quest. So if I exhaust the T in order to complete the quest, that means next turn I can only refresh like Porch hammer. Ah, you know what? It's you forgot to mute, Cole. Oh, I, I know. I was I was talking a lot. <laughs> I don't think you guys care about this, really. It's all public information. Yeah. All like, I what else would I be like, planning I on doing, right? The vagabond. You know, I watched the video of us when you were playing the Corvids. Yeah. And. For one thing, I did notice your your stuttering speech as you tried to mute while we were talking. <laughs> uh, but also, I'm 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 gonna play it safe here. It did not look in the video as though you. I I don't think this is really a spoiler because it doesn't relate to the outcome of the game. It did not look in the video like you actually used a <laughs> random generator to place your plot. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think so. No, that was totally a lie. But normally what Corvid players do is they have all their plots face down and they just pick one without knowing what it is, so that's hard to guess. In digital, you have to actually select one. And so I considered, you know, generating random numbers and then I was like, nah, that's too much work. And dumb. I'll just tell them I was doing it. Well, no, not really. Like, because if you plot based on... Like, if you plot based on what is most optimal there, or try and mind game it, like, it's just easier to just do random, because the thing you care about your, your plots for is first uh, scoring points by flipping, and that you don't care what they are, and then crafting, and that you only care what suit they are, not what the actual effect is. It's very rare that you plot for the actual effect. The only time I really plotted for the actual effect in that game 
was to snare that bottom left corner so Jamie couldn't spread sympathy. Other than that, I was pretty much just clicking stuff. I mean, you go for extortion's effect. Yeah, but like, I don't need it, right? I have the one extortion flipped. So like, anything after that's just gravy. What? What do you, what? Anyway, that's just what people gravy? say that. Who says that? People. Which people? The people. Don't tell me you don't know about the people. Don't tell me <laughs> that you are gonna say that I don't tell you. <laughs> Shut up. I'm shutting up. I'm gonna Google. The phrase originated from an old English saying. Life, it explained, is meat and potatoes, and the luxuries are gravy. So essentially, when you say, it's all gravy, you're saying, it is all the awesome, saucy goodness in the world, says csmonitor.com. Thanks. You're welcome. So many paths? Or, wait, is that all the paths? No, there's, there's, one one, left. there's one left that I will not be able to clear myself. I wonder if aiding Robbie that card will come back to bite me in the butt. Did you just build those two markets? There was one there already. Wow, I'm not paying enough attention. You guys hear me all right? Yep. Okay. I'm on my, my computer now. It's kind of crazy because who's even going to punish that? Unless someone crafts me a second sword, like no one's punishing that. Oh, Birds aren't going to get over there for a long time. Somebody better craft me a second sword. Well, I'm just making an observation. I don't expect anyone to do it. Right, like, moles can kind of just turtle up there and the pass. Jamie, I think you probably have to contest the pass from moles. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. I am having a bit of a rough time because mm. I put my my bird card on my first turn into battle when I should have put it into recruit and I'm just running a little low on resources here oh, well you can get that sympathy up there now you're welcome yeah. thank you how generous much appreciated yeah but like who even cares if you turmoil with like four or more roosts on the board and a bunch of points into charismatic, like that's still very good. Of course, that's assuming you do turmoil, which you very, very well might not. I can lie that aid kind of saved my butt Cause from you... making, have to actually make difficult decisions. Well, you just used okay. it to clear the path, didn't you? <laughs> No, no, I needed another fox card. Oh, yeah, I was, I was wondering if it was gonna bite me in the butt, but like, I figured it was probably not the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, it is. Just because it's moles, like you never want to help moles out. But also, what? the last time we played, I don't, I don't know. Wait, what? What have you swayed so far, Brig, Marshall? Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be helping yeah, you anymore. kill him. Kill! Well, I'm not going to kill. I just won't be helping. You All can right. kill. What do we got here? Nice. Um. So. How many anvil cards are there in the deck? Just the one. One. Good to know. Are you <laughs> perhaps holding it? No, no. <laughs> What's that? 
Um, you'll see if I reveal it next turn. Oh. No, I have the anvil. I Guys, it's okay. Anvil. I don't need the anvil. I just don't want you crafting yourself no coins. Yeah, about that. I start with a hammer. Oh, shit. Somebody kick him. You don't need to do all that. Ew. No, it's not even a big deal, dude. Not even a big deal. Hmm, if I had thought about this more. If I had thought about this a little more, I would have done that differently. Oh, well. Um... Oh man. Yeah, what? so those coins. What coins? Oh, did he craft coins? No. He sure did. Sure didn't. Kill. No need to kill. Just a happy Ew. little owl. Get in there and kill, Jamie. Can I? You can. Nope. Pac-Man. Okay, if Perry ambushes this, this is a turmoil. Ah, no ambush. That would have been... I can't decide if that would be good or bad for me. I think it would be good for me because birds and moles aren't going to be really you checking each other my anyway. Mouse. Yeah, it was kind of annoying with that stupid megaphone. <laughs> he looks so distressed. Sitting atop his stump. All right, moles, what do we got? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Does this say pondering for every faction? That's what I was going to ask earlier. When did it say pondering? This is the, the underground duchies pondering their next move. I feel like they usually I say considering so. options. At least for the Vagabond, that's what it says. We'll have to look. I thought considering options was only when it, uh... Did ambush? No, it doesn't do with... Yeah. It's like standard Vagabond turn as well, because they don't have, like, a set order of operations. So uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know what comes up for the other ones. I'm pretty sure it always says considering options for like a vagabond turn. I could be wrong though. This is just pure off to the races Euro route. Euro route? Now, this was your reaction when I said this the last time. Hey, spoilers. No, you were at my house. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Was that an anvil card? Maybe. How about you slide that on over my way? Don't do it, he's gonna craft the favors. You got, you got it, look, you can craft it right now for two points. That's real good. No. You don't even want that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? There are a couple factions that do want it. Well, it's actually not bad for the moles if they have no 
markets, yeah. But then they can't craft yeah. it. <laughs> I guess if they had Well, yeah, but, ones, but... You know, Jamie's gonna go in there and destroy them anyway. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Jamie. With your six, what? With your six birds. Destroy the markets. Yeah, about that. Please don't destroy the markets. Think of the people. Collapse the root economy. Destroy people the market. Two markets and uh, six clearings to sway from is too much. Yeah. I'll say that. This is what playing against moles was like before advanced setup. But this game was with advanced setup. Jamie just happened I'm, to set up in the corner, I think. I'm too weak of birds, so I'll try and get my act together, but I don't know. Such a shame. Wait, what, against who? That's hmm, a good point, against who? Hmm. I wonder. Baron of Dirt. Yeah, look at this guy. He's got Baron of Dirt. Go get his markets. Or craft what? me a second sword. Don't do that. Perry's gonna do it. Yeah, Perry. I'm gonna do yeah, it. Uh, we need someone to police these dang ding dang moles. Might as well be me. So now that we know Robbie has so, the third root tea, in in theory, I don't know. Let's, if let's say I'd I'm miss it being that. revealed before. Um, it, would it be greedy to put a third market up? No, no, that'd yeah. be acceptable actually. I'd be fine with that. That sounds like you're asking me to be greedy. I see. Yeah, we'd actually like that. Okay, in that case, I'll start placing citadels. But yeah, so I can hold off on crafting the tea now that I know Robbie has the third one and the deck hasn't been reshuffled. Yeah. Reshuffle might be soon, but it hasn't happened yet, so I think I can hold off. I think I'm good. Ooh, somebody wants that. Somebody wants that pass. I got four supporters? Man. None need to draw attention to it. <laughs> what do you mean? You're defending it with a warrior. <laughs> I'm just doing my part to stop the mole train. Oh, the mole train, I see. You're gonna pay the mole toll. The mole <laughs> toll. What for? Um, leaving for the... your base with one rabbit. It's just the general mole toll. You know? I feel like that's pretty cool. <laughs> general mole. Isn't that like a store? General mole store, yeah. Hmm. So moles have like crazy crafting power. Yeah, they do when no one destroys their buildings. Okay, somebody has to beat the shit out of the adventure. This is bad. Okay, we could say that about literally all four people at the table right now. This is a pure fucking race. No, it's not. We're all just hanging out. I'm hanging out. Are you hanging out? Seems like you're... rudely racing us. I would rather... Racing us rudely. What? What are you doing all the way in there, Bulge? What do you mean? You're so far away from the moles now. <laughs> what am I gonna do to the moles? Ew. Oh, wait, hold on. He's got informants. We really gotta take him down a peg. I wanna do this <laughs> first. Yeah, let's do this first. 
Would I like to improvise this quest? No. Do it straight up. Is there not somewhere that we can see how many quests you've completed? Uh, you can see that. Well, you can see what my, like, current quests are worth. Yeah, that's the thing I would like to see. Yeah, on my player board, you can see that. So, oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, and then I will graciously provide the Jane bot with this card. Oh, give me something good. This is good. You're going to love it. Do you love it, Jamie? I think she does. I'll take it. Wow. <laughs> Ungrateful much? I'm just very conflicted right now. About what? About what my next course of action should be. Yeah. Alright, let's end this turn. This is... I said this last time I played on the mountain map. A weird game. Is how I would describe this one. Hopefully the eerie turmoils again. They could have oh, if, if you had an ambush for that sympathy. Yeah, I was very nervous about that. Yeah, I thought you were going to move one of the birds out of your bottom mouse roost into that fox clearing with the mole. And then when you didn't, I was like, ooh, turmoil. But then it didn't happen. And then I couldn't decide if that would be good or bad. I think I landed on good. Because you're not oh, hitting the moles oh. anyway. This game. What did you do? Nothing. I just... I just don't. <laughs> what? Do, what? Uh, okay. Jamie, you're winning. You're winning. Hey, it's better than my async eerie that we have. The one that got turmoiled by swap meat? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, this is a really fun that was pretty amazing. thing where Perry only had two cards. No! A mouse and a bird. And Robbie swapped at the bird from him. And I guess he gave you a mouse back? Yeah. Or did you only have one card to begin with? Yep. Okay, so he gave you a second mouse. You only had two mouse cards in your hand. And couldn't... No, I had a bird mouse. Yeah, yeah. But after the swap meet, you had two mouse. Correct? Yeah. Okay. And then... You and couldn't... no matter where I put it in my decree, I turmoiled. Yeah, because you couldn't reach, with your one move, a mouse clearing. You know, I You're actually did not think about what I just did at all. That was upsetting. <sighs> this alliance. I, I did get distracted. What happened? I just forgot about outrage. Yeah, she moved in outrage, so now she can't undo her move. These markets are defended oh. by three warriors. This base is defended by one warrior. These roosts are defended by one and two warriors. But nobody can kill anything except Robbie. Bonjour. And something tells me he's not gonna. I did consider burrowing into a roost that only has one warrior. Oy! Are you gonna What's the score right now? Can I see it? 13 ear. Yeah, you can minimize the window. There's like a little arrow. It's 13 eerie, 10 moles, 10 you, 12 mm. me. Um, it's. It's tough, right? Because this... 
they get to go charismatic and they only lose what? Four. Oh, no, nah, I, th I think you have to. Four point loss. That sucks. I thought you were going to do the... I saw you go in there well, and I was like, oh the no. Thing is... I shouldn't have said anything about moving out of the mouse at the bottom. Thing is what? Yeah. Uh... I was gonna use it to defend if Robbie attacked. Right. But are you confident you can outrace both Jamie uh, and I can attack anyway? Both Jamie and Robbie. Yeah, because if Robbie attacked you, he'd lose one card yeah, immediately and then a if... second card if he destroyed you. Oh, she you. has a counter ambush. I sure do, you bitch. <laughs> I knew she had an ambush. I knew that. I'm such yeah, an idiot. Yeah, of all people, like. Oh my god. Why didn't you remember that I had that? Okay. Okay. Whoa, that seemed a little. No, no. Why didn't you remember no. I had that? No, because that's an important card to remember that someone has. So Cole, hmm. question: Would it make sense for me to skip my draw phase and take that bird ambush? You're asking me that. Yeah, you're the cold, you're the, the, the genius here. Hey, um, wow. Oh, so Jamie has 19 points now? Whoa. Let's all maybe chip in and get one roost each. Or maybe Robbie can get two. Hmm. Hmm. And I unfortunately can't actually get any. Yeah, bro, I... you got five cards in your hand. You're going to draw anyway. Yeah. I don't have a sword in my hand to craft. You can just tunnel That's into one with do. one. I'm going to recruit and tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, tunnel seems like the play. If anyone has a sword to craft me, now would be a, a welcome time. Oh. Well, I can't destroy any roosts without a second sword, and I haven't drawn one yet. <laughs> it's better to craft it yourself than to have me craft it next turn if I draw it. No way. She had another one. I gave that one to her. I should have. I should have told you. I was too busy talking about the sword. I should have told you to go mouse. Actually, that might have worked out perfectly. Oh, wait, did she not use it? No. She didn't use it. That worked out perfectly. <sighs> oh, jeez. Rob, you may be tempted to attack me, but it really would just be a waste because of yes, I the, really the way the battles work. Wait, did you use both battles? No. I mean, what's he need the second one for? I guess he could attack that one lone bird, but... I just thought you had to take both. No. May. May take up two, right? Yeah, that was, that was foolish of me, I suppose. Yeah. Take up the two moves or initiate up to two battles. Yeah. Because why not let them have more flexibility, right? They need it. Yeah, let's move here. He fears the revolt. Okay, so so this is so bad for me and Perry. If neither of us, now he's crafting it, of course. Um, like if neither of us remove a roost, Jamie's gonna be scoring at minimum four points on her next turn. Probably gonna pick up a sympathy. 
So I guess, Perry, just be really mindful of where you're spreading it, if at all, this turn. And maybe, yep. maybe craft a sword if you can, but you'd have to spread a bunch of sympathy to do that, so. I want to know where all these dang swords are. I hope I didn't discard well, one at the beginning I've of the game. I've been holding on to one. That's the question. Yeah, I've been, I've been too, oh, you didn't reveal it. It's a bird sword. Ah. Oh yeah, and you got two warriors there. That's fun. Like, I can't even aid anyone because they just get too many points from it. Directly as a result of me giving them cards. I guess birds are the best target, but they're you also the me. leader. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Yeah, right now it says Woodland Alliance is considering options on my banner. Blame. Hmm. I just don't think there's any way for me to, to close this gap, really. You can beat the shit out of the birds. That would help. Like, I can't even aid Robbie for that hammer anymore because he has banker. Hee <laughs> hee. So if I give him two cards, he just converts those two cards into two points, which is horrible. So I can't do that. This is shaping up to be one of the fastest games of Root I've ever played. In terms of... Is it really? How many turns deep are we? Amount of turns. I don't know, but it's not many. There's not like a counter anywhere, I don't think, so... Hmm... Let's do this. Let's go here. Let's do. Oh, okay. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. But I think I'll do. <sighs> Don't think there's any reason for me to move from here. So I will not improvise this quest. Take the two points. Nice little escort. So nice. Master Gravers is a problem. Whoa, you just scored a lot of points, Buster. Yeah, but like, I don't know how I'm scoring any more points from here, you know? Like I can quest for two and open the ruin Maybe for one. Maybe from uh, attacking the birds. 
Attacking, okay. of course. Oh. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, break open that roost for me. I'll finish it off. Uh, no. Sorry. Also, I already exhausted my sword. Or, I didn't refresh it this turn. So, that one ain't happening. If only I had that third boot now, a lot more would be open to me, but... Unfortunately, it's not the case. I believe I'm forced to end my turn here. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. So. I'm curious to see how this one shakes out. I really have no idea who's really in the lead right now. Oh, there's one of the swords. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, that's going right Dude. into my decree. See, were there any turns that you added... Were there any turns that you added two cards to your decree in one turn? I don't think so. There's just, she's had met, been met with no resistance. So that means we are on turn five. Oh, I see. Yeah, pretty fast. I have a feeling it will end in turn six. <laughs> yeah. And that's good, because it's already 10 o'clock. And I have to wake up oh my so early in the morning. I have to wake up early too. You don't hear me complaining about it. When are you going to be waking up? Not to like compare or anything, but just like... <laughs> well, I have class at 12.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> so probably at least by 11. Oh. Yeah, me too. That's rough, dude. I mean, you guys know when I have to wake up, but for those Cole's Root Channel viewers at home, 4.45 in the a.m. is when I'll be waking up. Okay, that's rude. Oh, don't let her get that. Don't let her get that. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> she saved it for this very moment. One. Son of a gun. <sighs> okay. Well, the Yuri definitely win on their next turn. So one way or another, this game's almost over. Unless we can somehow manage to turmoil them. I don't think that's possible. Oh boy. Well, all we would have to do is prevent them from building, right? Yeah, there's so many open slots, though. Yeah, also, there's only been one dis roost destroyed so far this game, so we definitely are on turn five. Hmm. So, Robbie, with this information, does that change how you're going to be taking your turn? I'm trying to figure out how I can destroy the most roosts in this turn. Well, you can definitely take out that fox one with your four. They're already in position. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do that. Do you have mayor suede? Unfortunately, hey, I do not no have no mayor. mayor suede. Hmm. Well. Huh. Hmm, 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 hmm. You do have the... No. You'd either have to spend your daylight positioning for Brig or your daylight. Hmm. This is tough. You could do move those three moles that are in the rabbit clearing back into the burrow and then dig to a roost. And then Brig to battle the two roosts yeah. that you occupy. Yeah, I didn't want to drop that clearing, but I think it's what's going to have to happen. 
Oh, you're just gonna bat. Oh, well, I guess that works out because you rolled. Oh. Whatever. But now, well, now you can't dig. Is what I was saying. Because dig is only in daylight, or only in your first two actions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. And now you can only move one mole. He's still in his first two actions, isn't he? Yeah, but now he. Oh, you have Marshall. No, but that still oh, doesn't work. Oh, if he digs, he only move one mole. Yeah, that still doesn't work. Because you would have had to yeah, retreat back in daylight first. and then dig, then bring two battles. But the way that roll went, it didn't even matter anyway, because he wouldn't have destroyed the roost. He could dig into the bottom. He could dig into the bottom mouse and then marshal from the fox in there and then do his attack in fox and mouse. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you can yeah, yeah, you can yeah, tunnel yeah. into the bottom right and then move from that bottom fox with the one into bottom mouse. And with those two cardboard points plus Baron or Dirt, you're still going to be in position to win on your next turn anyway. We just have to focus on stopping birds. Yup, yup, yup. If Jamie has an ambush here, that would suck. It really would. Where's okay. my roll? Again. We're yeah. good. The thing is now that's an available tunnel. So per mm, this is tough. Cause, Cause me and Perry would have to get it so that she has a hard time reaching there, but I don't even think we can do that. I'm just not sure there's a way to stop birds here. This is really satisfying. I just realized Robbie's minister icons are like directly below our Discord icons. It's like they're all in one big column. <laughs> so I don't know how that worked before. Like I thought I positioned them such that when it was the most players' turns, the minister icons wouldn't be covering our icons anymore, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, you're gonna discard the sword. Insult to injury. Well, the turn order changes where they are actually yeah but they were they were at the top in that game where i moved him over actually he's gonna sway oh he's just discarding a different banker card boo or just discarding one banker banker card instead of two no wait uh god I didn't want to do that. Can you undo it? Yeah. You're, yes. out, you're running out of time, though. Yeah. I know. Oh. But. I don't know if it's helpful, but take it. I think it is. I think that means I can probably take out a roost on my turn. Um. Now. If Perry takes out the top mouse, I would have to go on a journey to explore that ruin, get another boot, go to Robbie, aid for the sword, move up to the the rabbit above that, and then battle there. And then that would leave Jamie just in the top right if Perry's able to take out that top mouse. And she probably still wins from there, but oh. actually, we're at least going to make it difficult. Actually, if, if you take out her um, right bunny clearing, she might turmoil on move. I, I'm going to be taking the right bunny clearing, I think. And if Perry takes the yeah, top mouse. Yeah, get rid of right bunny and top mouse, I think she has to turmoil on move because she can't reach the fox clearing. Um, well, she Which can add cards. definitely she doesn't. She can add cards to Decree. And she has Bird Mouse. Oh, true. Yeah. But still. If Perry leaves a bunch of warriors in there, but no, then she gets battle points. So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely rough. Definitely rough. Whoa. 
Is that another flame? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't even notice it. It totally is. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. The one night, it was the last time that we played, <laughs> uh, Perry and I stayed on the call, and I think it was a total of like eight planes that went by. Yikes. It was pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Did you not spread at all? Just trying to keep those points away no. from from you. Wimp. You pesky bird, Pac-Man. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I think getting Oops, the second sword cold. from Robbie. I think I actually have a shot at the win. It's a pretty good one. That would too. be really funny. What'd you say? I like that the mouse shows up for the battle. I like that the mouse shows up for the battle. Oh, I thought you said something before that, before you did the battle. I have. You said I almost battled Cole. Oh, I have the battle animations off, so I never see them anymore. They're cool, it's just like, after you see them a few times, add so much time to the, to the game. Oh, I didn't even, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now before All right, Robbie, let's see it shot. Before Robbie crafted the sword, I thought this game was 100% going to Jamie. Now I think if I roll well, I have a chance at it. So I'm going to go up here visit Perry. Craft a bag. That's two points. Gets me to 22. I believe. I believe. Well, I haven't. I need to drink some water. I head here. Now, how are you going to get to Jamie this turn, Bulge? Oh, I'm going for the win. Jamie definitely wins on her turn, so I'm going for my own. Once I once I saw that sword. Oh. Once I saw that sword, I had to go for it. So uh, let's get rid of this. Look what you did, Robbie. Yeah, I shouldn't have let the Vagabond win, but I didn't want the Eerie to win either. It's not guaranteed. That's for sure. Yeah, but if you hit the Eerie, you can let me win instead. Oh. I, I honestly think she... until we didn't get double penetration. I think she wins anyway, to be completely honest, even if I do do that. Uh, so I don't know, with just three warriors, I don't think she has a very good chance. 
I think she does. But just because she, she needs to just pick up your tunnel in one sympathy and she's basically home free. Um, I go ahead and do this, I think. Take hammer. That's two points. Then I go ahead and I craft the fartisans. And then I battle Robbie. And I roll a zero. Yay! So like I said, not zero, guaranteed. Zero. I think that's a, an automatic loss now. Because that just makes me hostile. Yeah, I can't Hooray! get any cardboard now. Huzzah! Uh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. No, that still doesn't give me enough. Mm, man, that literally anything but a zero zero, and I won. I think. GG. Uh, no improvising. Take the point. And then, yes, improvising. Choose an item to damage for improvise. I don't know, I guess we'll just say the bag because I'm not getting another turn anyway and then I would do that for two points oh wait a minute I can still win if I roll a two here with partisans I can't even select Robbie without zooming Man, in. I was really hoping you would not notice. Damn it! Ooh. No! Ooh. Man. Dude, it all came together on the final turn. That was such a lucky set of cards in my hand. Oh my gosh. Darn. Were you definitely going to win on your turn, Jamie? Huh? I think Jamie was like 90%. Were you definitely going to win on your turn? Um, yeah. There were like a million different ways, I feel yeah. like. I, I don't know. I feel like Jamie was like 90% for the win. And I, I didn't even... overwhelmed. Yeah, that was like... That was rough because I didn't get battled once. And I still barely, barely clawed my way to a win. That was a... Certainly a game. Who else was in this draft? There wasn't even cats, was there? But, you know, we learned today... We learned Don't that. Feed the vagabond. Uh. Oh, go ahead. Gosh, who was in the draft? It was otters, right? Oh yeah, it was otters. What we learned is that mole Always eerie matchups fuck suck. The veg. <laughs> mole eerie matchups suck is what we learned. Yeah. Despot. Alliance matchups are great. Yeah, they are. They're 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 mutually beneficial. I'm, I kind of think the despot's underrated. In a game in the I game like, like this, very good. Know, Normal I game, think bad. Despot is appropriately rated. Yeah, they're pretty rated. I would say despot, yeah, is is not underrated. Charismatic is far and away the best choice when you can make it work. But in this matchup, Despot was definitely better. I don't know. There just aren't many of those matchups. Like, overall... I'm starting to think Despot may... You need a very huh? specific faction mix. For Despot to do well, it. Well, the thing about the Charismatic... Is that... His ability... Basically just doubles the amount of cards you have in a group. Which is huge. Whereas the Despot's ability actually scores you points. Correct. I mean, I guess. Okay, but think but, about this. You know, just think put about an extra this. card in Recruit. Yeah, but you can only do one bird card per turn for one thing. And for another thing, those cards that you're putting in Recruit 
for Despot, you're putting in Battle for Charismatic and you're using it to police the board. And you're scoring cardboard points, probably more cardboard points than the Despot would be scoring anyway, unless you're in a matchup with Otters or Woodland Alliance where there's just free stuff laying around. Despot's getting probably more cardboard points overall and exerting a lot more pressure the on the board with their, with their Warriors. And the... Yeah, but those aren't even undefended, so like, there's no guarantee you'll get them. I mean... Cause like, I mean, river folk trade posts aren't necessarily undefended. Well, they usually are. Otters will leave them behind as they keep moving around. And then rat raid tokens are good too. Uh, high level play rats don't use mobs at all. Actually, they just don't use them at all. They start with one prowess item in hand. They craft that item, and they're pretty much good. That's if they crazy. do, Why if not? they do use the mob, they'll. Because it's uncontrolled points that you're just giving. You can't control where they go. I don't like how the adventurer jumps around. And his like little stretchy cloak follows him. I don't like yeah, that Yeah, the way one his bit. medallion flops is upset. I don't like any of it, actually. This is ruining the adventurer for me. Oh, he, he looks like a little spring boy. 37 achievements completed. Achievements, huh? I forgot those were a thing. You know, I never told you guys what happened to me when I got home today. Uh huh. I got home from school today, and I was ready to sit down and play some Dark Souls, unwind for a little bit, and I peek under my air conditioner and I lock eyes with a squirrel. Whoa. I thought that there were birds in my window pecking around and I was like whatever but no there's a squirrel living underneath my air conditioner oh my gosh so you know I banged around a bit and tried to get him to leave but he would not leave I'm like peeking out the window he's standing on the sill then I bang around a little bit he just runs back underneath so he's just living in there so I decided I would climb a ladder outside to get in there from the back and try and like spook him out mm-hmm so I got the long ladder from the garage, and I propped up against the wall, and I grabbed a stick, and I climbed up there. And I tried to, like, poke him with the stick to scare him away, but I couldn't get to him with the stick, because it's, like, kind of a tight spot. Uh, so then... I tried... Okay, well, actually, first I tried to use a rake, which was really hard on tall ladder. Then I tried to use the stick. Then, I realized I needed something that was more flexible, so I got, like, a toy, uh, like, oh fort gosh. builder from when I was three years old, and it's kind of like a mini pool noodle, and I stuck that in there to try and scare him out, and he still wouldn't leave. So you should have gotten one of those, the toy grabbers? I, I eventually decided... What, Jamie? You should have gotten one of those, like, toy grabbers. Like, the like the claws. That's what I'm picturing when you said toy. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> and go and grab the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, that, that probably would have been good. Yeah. Um, uh, but so, I, oh. eventually I realized I wasn't going to be able to poke them out. They were just hiding it. So, I tried to gas them out. I got some hairspray. My gosh. <laughs> and... God. I, I stuffed up the left side, yeah, I stuffed up the left side with this pool noodle-esque toy and started pumping the right side of the hairspray. And, like, maybe ten seconds into doing that, this guy comes flying out. He, he pops out of the air conditioner, falls down to the ground, runs away. My neighbors, who I didn't realize were watching me do this, started clapping from their backyard. And I climbed down the ladder, victorious, and I look back up at the windowsill, and there's another squirrel <laughs> that was also living in there oh that gosh. popped out to look at me on the windowsill and then ran back inside. Dude, I was going to say, like... Yeah. So I climbed the ladder again, and I tried to... Yeah? Man, you must be on a delay. Yeah. Or maybe I am. No, it's Perry, because okay. the same thing happened when I said something. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
So I get back up there, and I've got my can of hairspray. The the air conditioner zone is all stuffed up with pool noodles and shit. And I stood there pumping hairspray into this, like, little hot box for the squirrel for maybe, like, three or four minutes straight. And this guy just would not leave. Sterner stuff. So he's still in there. Wow. Yeah, what I was what I was gonna say is like yeah. even if you send that squirrel to the forest, they're just gonna glide back in there next turn and you're you're gonna be right back to square one. But it sounds like you're playing a double vagabond game, which is even worse. Oh my god. And as we all know, <laughs> we hate double vagabond games. Thanks for watching Cole's Root Channel. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed veg. Perry's yeah. squirrel so... anecdote. We'll be ending the video now. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you around on Perry's root channel. Now hold on.